Hi, welcome to ICO Formula. Today's video, we're going to run through the KYC process for uh, a recent ICO that we've uh, got onto the whitelist for, and that's B Token. So, first of all, um, the email initially received from B Token looks like this, uh, confirming that we've got onto the whitelist, um, and a few details here and there as to the uh, initial set up for doing KYC and a few dates and so on and so forth of things got to be done by. So um, first of all I need to go to the website and uh, go start the process there. So off to btoken.com and you'll see a page like this. In red there you need to hit the submit KYC button. And from there it'll take you to a page like this. Um, so first of all you've actually got to set up um, an account with uh, B token itself. So this can be a little bit confusing, it's not always all that clear on these things. But first of all, start off with your email address. Now, really important that you use the same email address as you did for the whitelist. This will be the same as far as I'm aware for every single piece of KYC you do. If you've submitted for a whitelist, your email addresses need to match. The reason being is that it, it all needs to be tied together. That's the whole point of KYC or know your client um, so that they've got all the details correct and all aligned so that we're not using different people's details for this and that. Anyway, follow it, fill all the uh, details in there as it suggests and uh, hit create BNIST account. It will then uh, prompt you, take you to this page where you need to log in. So you need to go back and um, verify your details, which is that they'll have sent you a verification link, hit the verify email, and that will take you to a rather boring page like this saying that your registration has been confirmed. Now that's just to set up the account. So back to your login page and log in, and then you can start the actual details process. Now, again, they're asking you for an Ether address, um, so you need an Ether wallet to which you're going to be submitting your funds from. Again, you'll need to use the same wallet. You can't just put one wallet in here and then use another one later. It needs to be in here. Put your name details in there, your country of residence, check the boxes um, saying you accept the terms and conditions and so on, and start the Onfido KYC. Now, Onfido is a third party that, hand that is handling the KYC in this case. It's quite common for that to happen. Um, because ICOs themselves or the companies behind them not necessarily equipped to deal with all of that so uh, they'll get a third party in to do it um, invariably it ends up being a lot safer for the uh, users as well so hit the start on Fido KYC and it will take you over to a screen like this so there's four steps to it they'll ask you for all your details again ensure that your email address is the same one as you used on the whitelist I know this is going to sound a bit tedious but it has to be done so many people get this wrong it's unreal um, so fill in all your details there save and continue and it will ask you for your address history now it's literally if you've been at the same address since the beginning of January in 2017 you're fine in this case we have we've obfuscated the address there of course um, but you just drop that in if you've been in more than one address then it will ask you for all of your addresses um, up until today's date from January the 2017. Not necessarily always the case in every piece of KYC you do but be prepared for you know, 20 questions as it were in some cases. Put the, put the address details in and then we're on to uh, uploading a document. In this case we've done a passport, uh, literally take a picture of it, there's clear instructions on the screen and just upload it as a document and uh, just read the instructions carefully, you can't obfuscate or hide any of the part of it, must be clear to read and in and full view. Um, save and continue there once you've done that and then it will confirm, I'll ask you to confirm your details, um, obviously we've again we've obfuscated some details there but it'll, uh, it should show your details here, make sure they're correct, make sure your address is correct as well and check the, the uh, confirmation box and then hit confirm it will then send you an email um, from Onfido uh, uh, that looks like this. Now, it'll, it's got, you've got the green button there saying click here to start your background check. Well, if you're thinking the same as I was at the time, I've already done that. When you hit that button, you'll find that you have already done it. So, um, do hit that anyway, just to confirm that it has gone through and all the rest of it. Um, and, as I say, you should hear back from Btoken um, once the process has been completed by Onfido. That's it for that pro part of the process, um, as and when we see 
updated details from there we'll do the next video and um, we'll follow the process on from there meanwhile don't forget to subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel uh, there's uh, a button in the top right at the end of this video uh, to do that and you can also get a little bit of a primer as to what ICO formula is what it can do for you and how it works uh, by having a look at the video on the left